Halifax we're always pushing the boundaries of fan science. In this video we're going to show you some great new fans that had to be designed from the ground up. Our remit was to produce a highly efficient ATEX certified fan that was designed to withstand an internal working pressure of 8 bar G. As the temperature cools inside the system the pressure may go up to around 10 bar G. As a safety factor of 50%, we've built the fans to withstand an internal pressure of 15 bar G. To check this, we'll be doing a hydrostatic pressure test. Also, because the fan has to be built so strong, the way to test this initially is by using our FEA software. Let's take a look. Hi, my name is Dr. Gareth Colley, and I carried out the FEA work on this project. What I'm going to do now is just give you an overview of some of the work that we've done for this high pressure fan. In order to verify that the fan case can withstand such extreme pressures, an FEA simulation has been carried out. By creating a 3D model with actual material properties and assigning a number of boundary conditions, we can compute principal stresses generated in the casing under load. This allows us to identify problematic zones that could either result in local yielding or total material failure. Through iterative design and analysis, we can evaluate the effect of various strengthening methods without the need for a physical prototype. Through this iterative method, we can generate an optimised design with built-in safety factors that can handle the most extreme duties. In this particular case, the final design was manufactured and assembled at our site in the UK. It was then hydrostatically tested and weld checked for integrity, thus validating the predictions of the FEA model. Joining us now in the Halifax fan test area. This is the fan in question. It's a size 30 Mercury backward inclined. We've got a 304 stainless steel fan case that's clad with a acoustic and thermal insulation. We can see on the end here, just sticking out of the insulation, 50 millimeters thick side, side walls in the casing. We've also got some machine surfaces some of our high tolerance components like a mechanical seal here that's cooled and lubricated by a liquid in this case oil coming out of there we've got a stainless steel shaft which is, forms part of our bearing unit this is a Halifax fan type M type bearing unit it's a cartridge bearing unit um, it's oil lubricated for the high speeds we're running just over two pole synchronous speed, so the motor's at around 55 hertz. We've got a flexible coupling here, and this is an ATEX rated 350 kilowatt two pole motor. We've got a special pedestal, you can see here, the casing's centerline mounted. Now that's for any thermal expansion sealed ones are very tight tolerances so we have to centerline mount the fan case so that any growth that we'll see minimal growth it won't disturb the uh, the clearances within the seal this apparatus here is a supply system for the lubrication and cooling that goes to the mechanical seal now in this application the fans involved in industrial rubber manufacture and they can't have any water in the system at all so we've had to revert to using oil now to get just the right viscosity of oil we have this system here that both looks after the cooling and the heating of the oil so we get a constant feed of oil at around 50 degrees C 